The last word I would use to describe any magician is the word sexy. Magicians are anything but that. However, there is one move in the world of card magic and sleight of hand that I think is sexual. Pick one. Look at that. Now I know it's James Bond at its peak, but still the fact that he could do that with a deck of cards and have her pick it, it's kind of hot. And I'm saying that as a devout hetero. It's Whoa. called a pressure fan and you could do it with any deck of cards in any condition. It is a difficult move to do. However, you have a man who's mastered the virginity right here to teach it. We're going to be using this beat up deck of casino dollar store playing cards to show you the move and show you that it's possible with any deck of cards. Now this is what it's going to look like. And what's essentially happening is that you're doing this. However, you're using your thumb to stop that action. So you're going to hold a deck in this way with your forefinger and your middle finger here at the upper right corner. My thumb is in the back and I'm going to put downward pressure. I'm going to come in with my left hand and grab it in the lower bottom quadrant of the card. Now I'm going to squeeze the cards and I'm going to release them one at a time. So right now what you should be feeling are those cards being released one at a time by the middle finger. It's going to be hard to do and your cards are going to fly over everywhere initially. However, what you're going to try to get the feel to do is to try to release those cards one at a time by the left middle finger. And you're doing this by putting pressure with that middle finger. If we slow it down, you can actually see what's happening here, that each card is individually being released by that middle finger. It helps to have a really good bend on the cards. And what's going to happen is that you're going to come around in this clockwise fashion and you're going to complete the fan. Now, my best tip for this is to start with a small fan. In this case, you want to start with a really, really small fan. And eventually, you're going to get to the point where you're going to be doing it all the way around. The real secret to this move is releasing those cards one at a time from the middle finger. The other thing that helps is to pick up my brand new book, The Art of the Squeal, available now in the link in the description section below, full of moves, routines, anecdotes. It's fun. It's a funny read. And you'll enjoy it for sure this holiday season. Whoa. That or join the Pick Cake Magic Academy, the home of over 1,400 videos going over card stuff, corn stuff, and counting. I'm always adding videos, all designed to take you from a beginner all the way to expert level magic, such as with this move. I have to sponsor myself. However, if you're a company and you're in need of a micro influencer, please reach out. So you want to start with a small amount of the fan first, just to get your hands for the feel of the move. Then eventually, you're going to get to the point where you're doing it halfway and you're getting the actual action down. You also want to have a sweeping action with your hand. That's what actually makes the flourish look snappy and impressive. You could also widen the fan by starting at an angle. So as opposed to starting in this position, we're actually going to be starting in this position. That way you could have a really nice fan and have this nice arch that people like. This was one of those moves that I could not get down for the life of me. It was hard to do. It was almost impossible. And then one day I got it and I've been able to get it ever since. And honestly, the only reason I wanted to learn this was because of James Bond and the fact that he performed it in that movie. And then he slammed, then he slammed her. Even if you're not a magician, I suggest for you to learn this move because there's going to be a deck of cards around. And this makes you look like, I don't know, kind of hot. Now here's the difference. There's a threshold. There's a limit. If you're out here doing this and then going into some card tricks and being aggressive, then you look like a virgin. But if there's a deck of cards around and you happen to hit somebody with this randomly, that's impressive. Some advice at the end of the video. I've recently reorganized my desk space and this little area that you can't see. Usually with the wider camera, you could see it. As a matter of fact, I'll show you this whole little area right here used to be a nightmare. It used to be a mess. And what I did was I organized it as well as my computer space where I edit videos and uh, be the professional virgin that I am. So one hot tip, even though you might have heard it before from people like Jordan Peterson, it's a legitimate one, which is organize yourself, organize the area around you. You're going to be astonished as to what this does to your mental health and your uh, facilities by just organizing the space around you. Clean your bloody room. I see you again when 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 I see you again. Shall I go? Shall I go?